Is it possible to be a professing Christian, but yet not a Christian? Um, I think it's very possible. And I think that there are many people, unfortunately, that are just professing Christians, but they are not truly Christians. There are many people who um, wave the banner of Christianity. They, you know, perhaps grew up in a Christian home. They hold Christian values and traditions, but they have not truly walked with Christ. They know who God is, but God doesn't know who they are. Just imagine going to a going to a basketball game and you look at you look out on the court and just say you see your favorite player. Say your favorite player is Steph Curry and you're calling Steph Curry's name. Steph Curry, Steph Curry. And he looks and he sees you, but he ignores you. He shrugs his shoulders. The reality is that you know who he is, but he perhaps does not know who you are. Now, just imagine if you are screaming out to Steph Curry, Steph Curry, Steph Curry, and he turns around and he looks at you and he points to your direction and he says, yeah, I know who you are. Matter of fact, you could come here right now <laughs> and let's have a conversation or let's ball. There is no security guard in the arena that's going to separate you from Steph Curry. All right. And um, by the way, I did not come up with that analogy a pastor named Pastor Paul Washer came up with a very similar analogy, but I just wanted to share that just to bring a little bit of emphasis to what I'm trying to what I'm trying to explain to you all. Um, it's essential not to only know God, but it's essential and it's vital for God to know you. It's those who profess to be a Christian, but yet not a Christian who profess to know God. But it's those who are truly believers who don't only know God, but know that God knows them as well. And this is vital. And I'm going to go to a text of scripture and I'm going to share with you guys exactly how this looks like. All right. Um, but before that, I was in a conversation this past weekend and I was talking to a, a specific person online on online. I'll just even that way. And she was basically saying that she was a Christian. She was professing to be a Christian. During our dialogue, she was denying the Bible. She was leaning on her emotions as the basis of her truth. She was protecting a lot of different folks and a lot of different truths and ideologies to get her opinions across. And I had to... Flat out ask her, are you, are you truly a Christian? You deny the basic fundamentals of the faith and you claim to be Christian? And she replied to me, I am a Christian. So what I'm saying is that there are countless amount of folks all throughout the whole world who honestly believe they are Christian because they grew up in a Christian home. Because they have Christian traditions, values, or whatever the case may be. Because they go to a church or, or because they do a bunch of stuff. Now, I'm in the text and I'm reading Matthew chapter 7 verses 21. It says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father. Now, as I said, there are many, okay, who are going to say, Lord, Lord. Now, why are they saying that? They're, they're, they're basically professing Lord, Lord, because they, what they're basically saying is that there is a relationship there, okay? And and that's what the, that word signifies. It signifies clarity that there is a direct relationship, right? So they're saying, Lord, Lord. But Jesus says, not everyone who claims to have a relationship with me is truly mine, right? He says, on that day, Verse 22, on that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied in your name? Have we not casted out demons in your name? Have we not performed miracles in your name? I asked this question when I used to do youth ministry. I asked this question to my youth. And I'm going to ask this question to you guys. On judgment day, when you're standing before God. And let's just say this is the scenario. And let's just say that let's let's just say God God asks you, by what means shall I open 
paradise unto you. By which means shall you enter eternal life. If the first thing you do is say, I did this or I did that. The grace of God has not been applied to you. Because we do not access eternity based upon I. Okay? We access eternity based upon Him and Him alone. Your son, okay, paid the penalty for my sin. But the problem is, and this is the thing, okay, there are many people who are professing to be Christians. The first thing they're going to do is point to their self in order to justify themselves before God. So that's what they're saying to Jesus. They're saying, I prophesied in your name. I casted out demons in your name, miracles in your name. But Jesus says, hold on. I will declare to them, I never knew you. This is not a people that God is claiming to have known before. And then they just kind of fell away. Those who fall in this category have never been known by God ever. As it relates to their relationship, there has never been a true, authentic relationship. They have never been Christian. They've been Christian by profession, but not in reality, right? That's it. They may have went to church, but they were not modeling what the church is. There are many of us who are like that. And that is the danger. So that's why Jesus says, I do not know you. And then he says... Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness, you worker, you workers of iniquity. Why is he saying that? He's saying that because they are Christian by profession. They say a good thing. They have a good talk. They may be very religious, but they don't have the Holy Spirit. They have not truly repented. They're living life their own way. They know not God. They're disconnected to the truths of God. So I just wanted to share this so that you guys could really... Take this in, meditate on it, and ask yourself some serious questions as it relates to your walk in, in, in God or your profession. Is your profession before God a true, authentic profession? And I'm not talking about works. I'm not talking about how often you go to church, how often you read your Bible, how often you pray. Those kind of things come with it, but that is not what Jesus is talking about. Have you given your life to Christ? Have you turned away from that which is not of God and truly received the free gift of eternal life? Or are you still depending on your own works and on your own efforts? Living life your way. Applying your own knowledge and extending your self-righteousness before the Prince of Peace and the King of all righteousness. The Bible says that our righteousness are nothing, is nothing but filthy rags. So where are you as it relates to the reality between you and God and that thing we call a relationship? Anyways, guys, that's all I want to share with you all. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And please let me know. Um, feel free to, to, to jot it down on the comment board your thoughts, where you're at as it relates to your, your walk with the Lord. You already know it's all love. Until next time, peace.